Hey, I'm Affinity Commit, back again with another eye-opening tour for all you cozy game lovers and design enthusiasts. Today we're embarking on a journey through the world of gazebos, but not just any gazebos. We've got 13 stunning designs, each with its own charm and character, waiting to inspire your next paleo adventure. As we dive into this compilation, you'll see designs that spark imagination, invite tranquility, and even challenge what you thought a gazebo could be. First on our list is Demon Kitty. This is one of the gazebos that she did for her friends. It's important to keep in mind when you're decorating for spaces that you don't necessarily have to do it all for yourself. You can do it for friends and allow them to kind of input their design decisions. You'll see in another gazebo that she decorated her own style just off. Our next gazebo design revolves around cake parties. Now, Paley has made some adjustments to cake parties, but I feel like there's going to be more group activities in the future revolved around cooking. So just kind of keep that in mind when you are thinking about gazebo designs that there might be a future where there's more cooking activities. Even though the cooking activities aren't as lucrative as they used to be, they're still fun to do if you're into that sort of thing. This next gazebo was done by Ying Yang Nub, who is a Twitch streamer, and this obviously leans a little bit more on the witchy vibes, but what I liked about this one is that it had a focal point. It had a place to stand. This is where I stand. This is everything happens from the central location. And one of the fun things I like about the candles in Palea, especially the more witchy ones, is that as you walk up to this gazebo, the lit candles just come to life. This next gazebo by Demon Kitty is more her style. It's more of the witchy vibes and you can kind of tell that compared to the other gazebo, it's a little bit more packed as far as that goes. But you can tell that this is like, this is where she hangs out the most. It has a little bit more of her personality in it. Don't be afraid to kind of mix it up between, you know, a gazebo that is more reflective of your friends and a gazebo that's more reflective of you. The interesting thing about gazebos is that they're little pockets of space that you can decorate individually. You can tell a complete story all within one confined space. Make sure you pay some attention to the space leading up to it because that's equally important. It's a transition. It's important for the space to tell a story. While you may or may not be into role-playing within Pele or other games, you can still just kind of make up a backstory behind why you are making the decisions that you're making. In this case, this is a writing space. Now, if your first instinct was, ah yes, witchy vibes, you can kind of see where my point is, right? You can say, okay, well, if they're a witch, what are they using this space for? Are they using this for an apothecary sense? Are they making potions? Or are they simply just using this space to perfect their mystery whodunit series? Going along with the idea of storytelling, this particular character, she created an entire backstory. She loved the outdoors, she loved camping, but she also loved her creature comforts. These things just wouldn't mix, so she created an outdoor space that was all around glamour camping, or glamping, as everyone understands. Now to my studious viewers, if you've already seen this tour, you know that she had an indoor space that was very outdoorsy, but she got tired of it. At least her character did. Create these stories that challenge your designs to kind of take shape. This is another example of creating a story along with focus on the external decorations outside of the gazebo. We have a, a hoard here, a lot of treasure chests. It's like, what do you do with the treasure chests? Well, this is one application of it. She used them as tables and decorated along the outside. Focusing on the center point, which is the hot tub, she loves to go on and tell you all about the outfit that she's wearing. It's a really good story. Definitely check it out. Now, I'm not going to tell you what furniture set goes with what color or where to put flowers in certain situations, that's up for you to decide. And what I wanted to basically tell you is to experiment, to come up with a story behind your character and let that guide your decisions as to where to place things and to what angles you're placing them. And then there's moments where you just need raw efficiency. We look no further than one of my favorite paleontors, Charlie. We have a centralized area, we have, this is 
those of you who have been in Paleo for a while, this is a quintessential kick party layout. It's designed for optimum efficiency, it has stations for everything, but you know what? Hey, you can still use this concept and build on it. You can decorate around it and you can use this for other community baking events. For this design, you can tell that she rotated the trees to create a corridor into the gazebo and just kind of kept it simple. You know, we have a rug and we have couches, we have seating area and some greenery around it. It doesn't have to be complicated. It can be just simple. Sometimes less is more. Now I know there's some clutter core people out there that are just shaking their heads at me. Don't worry about it. You can take this and use this as a foundation and build on it. One of the things I love about different gazebo designs is kind of the approach of entertainment. While we had some that had personal spaces, outdoor living spaces, this one is all about feasts and eating and community. Every single chair is not exactly placed evenly. They are just kind of tossed in there and it gives the sense that you've had a big ol' feast. Hospitality at its best. This is another example of telling a story. Right off the bat, you can see a telescope that's looking out towards the stars. And this one also incorporates a lot of greenery, right? Make sure that you toss in some greenery in your designs. That way you can make it feel a little bit more alive. Another thing that we want to touch on here is privacy. That's been a very interesting point that I've noticed on many of my tours is the concept of privacy. Most of the time you're going to be playing alone or if you are playing with friends, you invite people over. But people have been using different designs and in this case greenery to have some privacy for their character. We've touched on building story around your player character. However, you can also build story around the Paleon lore. This is a gazebo that captures that. We have a temple, a shrine to the Phoenix. You can see that this area feels sacred. It feels regal with the gold accents, the marble flooring, the flowers around it. It's all centered around this central shrine area. So feel free to experiment with something like that. Build something that revolves around the Paleon story. Now take everything that I've told you and throw it out the window because Charlie just breaks all of the rules in this case. It's one of my favorite Paleon tours. He's got a story, he's got design, he has the floral elements for privacy. He also kind of has lots of things just mixed in. I'd like to remind our dear viewers that this is Early Access Palea. They are making updates rapidly, they're adjusting the game, the balance, and at this time, Charlie was only working with a 3000 asset limit cap, and he had maxed it out. Every time he would need to make a change, he'd have to take things away from other parts of his house. However, sometimes, you know what, just don't listen to me. Throw everything into one place and just make it look good. That's a part of the fun. If you've enjoyed this tour, definitely give me a like, subscribe if you want to see more videos, and I hope to see you all for the next one. Feel free to leave me a comment, and if you just want to say something you don't know what to say, drop me a random emoji. I love it. I love reading everybody's comments, and I'll see you all for the next one.